outs with which to work with tonight. Down four, bottom of the eighth inning. The reliever is still Edward Bizardo. The hitter here is Nash Neidel, hit from the left side against the right-hander and takes for a ball. They right, called that strike one. All right, I'll correct that. Here's the pitch home, and that misses one and one. Mike Savakinas just took the ball from Nunez, put it in his pocket. As Bizardo gets set and comes with it, jams Knight and pops it foul behind the Sea Dogs dugout. One and two. The Sure Cats try to avoid a fourth straight loss and pressing a little bit here after falling behind. It's a 6 2 ball game, only five hits tonight for the Fisher Cats. Knight fouls it back and out of play, one and two. And a lot of nights where the Fisher Cats have fallen short but have rallied and threatened late last night in Reading. They went to the ninth inning, down 8 4, scored two and Left the bases loaded. See if they can mount something late here tonight. There's ball two from Bazardo. The closer for the Sea Dogs is Adam Lau. He has five saves. The 2 2 offering here, and then Knight went after that. He strikes out. He just swung to try to get away from that one. And no argument from Mike Mordecai. The Knight strikes out for the third time, and the Fisher Cats have struck out 11 times in the game, one down. It's Josh Palacios. Josh one for three, and there's a strike. I was a pitch tonight that came right up and in on his hands. The offering here is topped over into the Fisher Cat dugout, and Josh is in an 0-2 hole. Joshua Palacios hitting 248. And a swing and a miss here. Bounces away, so Nunez has to play to first, but that's another strikeout. Palacios is down. Fisher Cats have struck out 12 times tonight. They struck out. 15 times in game two of the doubleheader at Reading the other night. Reading had a 13 strikeout game against the Fisher Cats on Monday. And last Saturday night, the Fisher Cats struck out 17 times against Trenton. You are seeing more and more of this style of baseball in AAA in the big leagues with those different balls, more home runs, more strikeouts. Fisher Cats don't have any home runs tonight though. Ball one taken away by Riley Adams. It's a Fisher Cat team that has not hit a lot of home runs this year. And a 1 0, try to hold back. That's strike two. That's strike one. One and one. Cutter Crawford started tonight for Portland, went the first six. He had nine strikeouts. Bizardo trying to finish up a second inning of work. He already has three strikeouts in the game. Swing and a miss, one and two, fastball away. Fisher Cats this year, 48 total home runs. Up and away. And they haven't been able to get too many long balls with men on base. 20 of their 48 home runs have come with guys on. You've got a guy like Bobby Dahlbeck. He's got 19 total by himself. Swing and a miss, and Bazardo strikes out the side. Knight, Palacios, and Adams. So now Fisher Cats have only one more chance. We'll go to the ninth here in New Hampshire with the Sea Dogs leading the Fisher Cats 6-2 on the WGIR Fisher Cats.